What is up guys? Stealth from Stealth Heart Gaming here and I am bringing you my first um analysis air codes video. Uh I'm not a pro at this. I don't know everything about this game. I do know enough though that I can anal um analyze analyze that's what I was looking for. Uh some of these games, as you can see, this game is is relatively short, six minutes to thirty seconds. This was played by my friend Boomk and his brother. Um I'm gonna. There's gonna be a certain process. I'm gonna go through these games. I'm gonna take it one step at a time. Uh, the, it's probably gonna be split up into three, maybe four parts. Um, the first part is gonna be me doing what I normally do, talking about the game, just kind of like I shouldn't say shout casting, because I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna begin shouting at the top of my lungs if there's like an epic bailing hit or something like that. I'm gonna talk about the game, you know, tell you what they're doing, what they're doing, what I think of it. Then we're gonna. The, that's gonna be part one. Part two, we're gonna go in and take it from one player's point of view. Okay. And like, look, up, watch the mini map. See, like, maybe I'll say something like, maybe I don't agree with this because for you know A, B, and C, that kind of stuff. Part three, we'll be going into the other player's view, seeing what he did, and so on and so forth. So we're just gonna get right started. Get right started. Come on, I'm gonna get a drink. I've been commentating all, all day, so my throat kind of hurts a lot right now. But we'll get right along with it. All right, so we are on Agria Valley, or yeah, Agria Valley. Spawning on the top left will be Cognas, which is uh, Boomk's brother. Bottom right will be Boomk. This is a ZVT, so you may expect some um, long-term play. Let's open the production tab names. All right, so surprisingly, um, Cognas. That's really in weird to say, is going for a fast depot rather than try and get a supply up. I'll come visit back later. On Boom's side, we see him a little bit supply blocked, but he just made that drone, so now he's probably saving up for an Overlord. And this game, actually, it's probably not going to take long to commentate at all because they played on uh, normal, which, for anyone who doesn't know, normal is not what you play StarCraft on. You play StarCraft on fastest. So yeah, just gonna point that out. So Cognan still making SVs. Levi is actually floating. What is he doing? Okay, so he's throwing down his pool. So he throws down a pool head. Not... Okay, I guess we're gonna be seeing some cheese here. He gets an Overlord, gets a drone, and for Cognas, we are now seeing a uh, factory. Not factory, barracks. Of course, that placement's kind of iffy. And I'll get to that later. So we're seeing a barracks from him. Nothing much, nothing very exciting going on. Um, Boom right now has a huge advantage because he has, let's see, he has 10 drones. No, actually, I lied. He doesn't have a huge advantage. Yes, he does. He actually only, Kalyan's only has 8 SCVs mining right now, right? Can we go to income? Yeah, as of right now, Boom is winning in the, on the, uh, Minerals collection rate, but I'm sure that was changed. And then Boom goes for a gas, which I'm assuming is for Zergling speed, and he makes six Zerglings. Huh. Six. I have a feeling he's going to do some harassment here, because normally you never make. Normally I never see anyone make six. You know, I make four to take watchtowers. Um, I know, like, some of the pros don't make Zerglings at all, unless they're needed. You know, sometimes even two just to scout, but. Levi seems to make it six, and he is moving out across the map with him. So, does Riley have anything to defend? Or Cognas? <laughs> he has one Marine. So, if he can micro this Marine perfectly, I think... It, I don't know. That's kind of a bit iffy. So, Boom is not making anything right now. Cognas now has two Marines, which I don't think he knows you can rally your stuff. So, um, Oh, this was a huge mistake. He's going for the Overlord. He's going for the other. This is a perfect time for this go. Go. Yeah. No, it took him a bit too long. So now these Zerglings are going to run right into the base. He is uh, Boom's making four more Zerglings. We got this. They're going to come. What are they going to do? Are they going to go right for the mineral line? No, they're going for the supply depot. Why are you going for the supply depots? Whatever. So they're going straight for the supply depots. Now they're going to the mineral line. Are they shoot? Hit the Marines. Hit the Marines. Hit the, mar hit the Marines. Or not. Um. Okay, so apparently instead of going for the Marines, he just, um, 
I apparently wanted to die. He has uh, four more Zerglings right outside the base with 12 more on the way going for layer tech. So I think Boomk either plans on ending this with the Zergling Harass or in case of this fails he does have a way to uh, transition into the late game. Or yeah, I say late game. However, due to the length of this replay, I know for a fact it's not going to the late game. Unless, you know, something insanely stupid happens. And then and then now we have 16 Zerglings running into Cognance base. He has three Marines to defend, four Marines to defend. One of them is out of position, though. These Marines will can easily get surrounded. He probably should pull them back here, raise a deep post or something. Here comes the Marines, he, and surprise, there you go. Now he's going for the Marines. Those Marines are easily going to get cut down. He's getting uh, Metal Ballot boost. Uh, Cognas, um is going for an Engineering Bay, and his second Barracks, of course, might be too late. I don't know what is going on here. Um, apparently the Marines are stuck, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I think the Marines are stuck, or this one's on like hold position or stuff. I don't know. It seems like they're stuck, so um, yeah. Boomk is going to sit here, whittle down all these supply defaults. Cognance has one mining SCV, and Boomk actually goes for the uh, early GG, and well, that's it. I was um, observing this game, so there's that. Now, you saw lots of... Um, I don't want to say poor decisions, but you saw a lot of probably wrong decisions in this game, such as, you know, um, Cognan's going for that fast supply depot. That's just the first one off the top of my head. We are now going to go, this will probably be the end of part one, give or take. Wow, that was only six and a half minutes. Huh? That makes sense. So it only took me four minutes to do this replay. All right, so we are going to go back to the beginning of this. Let's pause this real quick. All right, let's pause. No, pause. Okay, we are going to go to, who's number one? We are going to go to Cognas's point of view. We're going to get off of his, um, oops, no. We're going to get off of this player cam. Uh, we are going to go to his point of view, see what he could have done different, see what he should have done different, and um, see if, you know, try to determine if things would have turned out differently for him. So we are going to get right started. Right started, I said that again. So the first mistake is that he probably could have been mining a lot sooner. You know, that's always there. Now the first crucial crucial thing is that he goes for a supply depot right off the bat I don't un I don't know his understanding behind this maybe it's so he would never get supply blocked early on But that's two SCVs you're throwing away f to get you know 18 supply or is it 19 for? Okay, I think 19 supply that's an extra two SCVs You're throwing away to get an extra to get an extra couple, you know eight supply nine supply Which I don't really agree with that because um you don't have the mining advantage. You want to try to keep up with the mining. So this I really don't agree with. He now has um, seven SCVs mining. Good luck, help, have fun, that good fun stuff. He is keeping a good job. Actually, say, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. I wish I could hide his stuff. Whatever. Um, well, maybe I should say control N. Let's hide the name thing so I don't see the supply. We're going to pretend like we are playing this just from his uh, point of view. So we have not yet scouted. We don't know what he is going for. He probably... Hold on, let me pause this real quick. He it is now a minute thirty. If any cheese may may happen, it's gonna happen now, um, or it's gonna be signaled now. Like I wouldn't say what Boom did was cheese, because I guess you could say it was a timed attack. But let's just call it cheese for the sake of this video. We can see he's getting a supply, not supply depot. We can see he's getting a spawning pool right now, and it's a minute thirty. Now if Cognas were to scout. He could see this earning spawning pool and um, react by maybe throwing out an additional barracks or doing something. The one thing I really don't agree with what he's doing is he probably should have walled in. If he saw, if he scouted, saw the early spawning pool, he could have walled this off, be a lot safer from it, walled it off, maybe throw down a bunker or two. He could have held it off perfectly fine, but he didn't. So uh, I guess let's get back in the video. I really don't agree with what he did there, but, you know, it's... I think this is his first, his second actual game online, so I mean, I can't be too hard on him, but I can't, I don't agree with what he's doing here. I do play, I main as Zerg, I can play all the races though. Um, I shouldn't say well, but I can. So he's coming up with his SCV production. I really, really think he should have scouted here at any point in time. I really think he should have. There's no reason why he really shouldn't have at least scouted at least something. 
I mean, yes, he's new. I understand that. But, like, you need to scout. I cannot stress that enough. If you don't scout, you're not going to do well. It's as simple as that. I actually kind of want to hide the... I wish I couldn't see the production half of both of them. Anyway, so, he's playing this off pretty standard right now. Now, maybe, um, I would have thrown down a gas, as that very is making, so I can get a fast tech lab. Now he throws down the gas, or a fast reactor, you know, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff could change, of course, with the way this thing hit. Well, I don't know, I think you actually could have gotten reactor. 50 seconds from now. Then again, though, his, everything's kind of delayed because of, um, that early supply depot you won, because he's still not supply capped. So, I mean, that is good, but he's not supply capped. I mean, he could have just built it now and be perfectly fine. So, he sees the Overlord, and the next thing I agree with is, well, go, go, go. is he doing it now? Yeah. This is what I don't agree with. He is going for the Overlord. The Overlord can't attack, okay? Yes, it scouts, okay? But he's not flying directly over his base. As far as we know, maybe he saw the barracks. So... Maybe uh, Levi knows, like, hey, he may have some Marines, so maybe I'll hold back, maybe I won't attack. Or maybe he says, oh, I see a barracks. Maybe, I don't know if he can see a tech lab. I don't want to check. I'll check later. Um, and I'll probably contradict myself in the second part, but, you know, maybe there's a reactor, maybe there's a tech lab, maybe he has Marauders, maybe he has even more Marines than what, he, what I see now. You know, there's so much stuff where if Riley didn't show what he had, maybe Boom would not have gone in for the attack. If Riley... You know, if he maybe didn't show these two Marines to kill this one Overlord, maybe he could have had three or four more Marines right here. If Levi were to run in here, those Marines would have completely slaughtered all those Erglings. The thing is that he doesn't have a reactor, and Levi doesn't know that. So let's jump right back in this. These Overlord, this uh, Marines are going to shoot this Overlord. They will fail in killing it. So there's that. They are trying very hard, though. I must give them credit. They're trying very hard, however. They don't even bring the Overlord next to down. Now, I really should have brought... The, he should really bring those Marines and bring him over here. He gets inside the Zerglings. He does not respond fast enough. These Marines are just sitting here. They are going to pick away at all these supply depots. And now... Okay, now he's now he's uh, doing... He's going trying to get a nice flank. You know, he's picking off all of them. Luckily for him, Levi did not target the Marines or else... Um, this probably could have ended a lot sooner. This one uh, Marine kind of finds the need to not attack. So, uh, he could have done better on that behalf. He made way too many supply depots. He probably should have, you know, maybe got rid of two of them and threw down a second barracks. Because the thing with the uh, Zergling Rush is that if you did like a six pool or something, that Zerg is always going to be behind. So, he's going to continue rushing and trying to knock you out of the game. Which Levi does succeed in that, as we already know. So he has a good four Marines. He's getting a fifth one. Again, if he threw down second barracks right now, when I said he throws down an engineering bay, which I don't necessarily say this is bad. You know, it's not bad, but it's not the smartest thing. And he did get a spot, and here comes the rest of his like, so This, I don't know what happened with these Marines. I don't know if they got stuck. Oh, I want to watch these Marines for a second. Did they get stuck, or... I think they're stuck. So these two Marines are stuck because he did not have a rally. If this was rallied here, he would have been perfectly fine. These Zerglings are going to just wreak havoc on the economy. He has three Marines here, incapable of doing anything. Of course, you could always cancel this uh, barracks. What is making? Lift it up. Send those Marines to there. At least try to fight. There's a good game. And, well, that's the end of the game. So, as we saw there... Uh, Kong has made some pretty poor decisions of, um, like going for the really fast supply depot, going for, um, uh, three more supply depots on top of that, instead of maybe building a second barracks. Um, he really should have scouted. I mean, if you scout, let's see. Let's go back to the 220. I don't want to go necessarily back that far. Let's go to about three minutes. All right, three minutes. If he were to send an SCV right now to Levi's spawn, which is right here, okay, this is what he would see. He would see the hatch, a pool, gas, and he will probably pass up these couple of Zerglings, these six Zerglings. He could have probably preempted this. He probably could have threw down a barracks here, uh, maybe even threw down a barracks here, threw a barracks down, in the mineral line even. He could have prevented this if only he scouted properly. 
Now let's go further up in the four to 420. Okay. He had... Boom is now, I believe, in the... Yeah, he is now attacking with these uh, six Zerglings. These Marines are... Where's the other? The Marines were too busy trying to kill this Overlord. So the Marines are kind of out of position. He comes in to kill him. Sadly, he doesn't get the ball, but when you see this, if you see this early Zergling aggression, you may want to do something with your ramp. I'm not saying you necessarily have to. I'm saying you may want to throw down a bunker, throw down a barracks, throw down, you know, something to at least block it off, to at least give you yourself more time to uh, try and prevent this. Maybe even throw down three supply depots here. Just one, two, three. At least wall it off for a little bit so you can get a higher force, actually hold it off. Uh, but anyways, we know how that plays out. He, um... Ultimately gets overran by the Zerglings. Like, okay, right here, right here. There's a huge force here, okay? What he sh he could have, I'm not saying it's going to be the smartest thing to do, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not even sure if it's the smartest thing to do. But if he had, like, one Marine just sitting in here, he could have taken pot shots and know this is coming. Again, if there's a wall in, he wouldn't have to be as concerned about this because he could hold it off. He could fight it off somehow. But there's no wall in, so the Zerglings can all easily just walk in here, wrap around here, come in, wipe out his base. So we just saw um, this game from uh, everyone's point of view, where I commentated on it and casted it, and then we just saw from Cognas's point of view, who is ultimately the one who loses here. Now we are going to go into Boomk's point of view, Levi, because that's what I'm probably going to call him. Um, we're going to go into his point of view, see what he does, see how, um, what he does, see how he reacts, see what kind of build he does, etc., etc. So let's throw it on Boomk's camera, and you will get underway in part three. Sorry about that, I was getting a drink. Alright. So he starts us off completely standard. He builds drones. He sends out his overlord to scout. Which, where's that overlord going? Oh, whatever. <coughs> Sorry. He sends an overlord out to scout. He's building drones. He's droning up, as we say on the streets. By that, I mean, that's what it's called. He's droning up. He's got, he's a woman supply block. Now, this is the first thing I don't agree with, uh, with what Boom did. Now, it works for him, yes. But, but right now he is supply blocked, okay? Sure we can see that, but he is sacrificing precious mining time to get an early spawning pool, okay? He gets the spawning pool, which he, th he should throw down any second now, but like right here, he has 240, okay? He could have thrown down an overlord and threw down three more drones to just have that much of an economic backing. Because as you saw from Cognaz, he still didn't have much of anything. Um, he had, right now, Boom has, you know, ten dr oops, ten drones. Okay, he could have built an overlord, he could have got three more, two more, and then he could have threw down a spawning pool. The thing is, is that you're supply blocked right now. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. You are supply blocked. Okay? You can't really do this in higher leagues, um, because people are going to scout it, they're going to see it, they're going to know how to react to it. Since this is Cognas's first game, I can understand why he's doing this, but it's probably not the smartest thing. He does get his Overlord finally, and again, he is still supply blocked. At this point, you know, maybe if you just build the Overlord before you threw down the pool, you can throw down pool, and then now you have access to all the drones you want. So, there's something, and right now, I would probably recommend throwing down a gas, which he actually doesn't do until after this is over. You know, in whatever, 20 seconds or whatever. I would have thrown on the gas probably right as I threw this down, so I would have that 100 gas, and then I could instantly get the Magic Bottles boost, which we don't see him get till the end of this uh, video. Uh, or, till, or till the end of the replay, rather. So that's kind of, um, I don't want to say a letdown, but that's kind of one of those things where, like, it would have helped a lot in the initial attack. So he is getting his gas, he's getting six Zerglings, and he has them directly rallied right here. Now, this Overlord... I don't know if he was planning to scout with this, but he is bringing the Overlord around. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna pay attention to the minimap, see if he does see that barracks. So he has this, you know, he throws three drones at gas, so he even has less mining minerals now. So he does see the barracks, he does not see, he actually does see if it has an add-on, which it doesn't. So this does kind of back up his theory like, oh, maybe he doesn't have much, I'll go in and attack. Because if Riley threw down anything, a reactor, tech lab, he probably could have actually withstanded this attack. He didn't. So here comes the initial six Zerglings. Now, normally for a six pool, these six Zerglings 
if you don't do anything with that, you're not going to do well in the late game. If you don't do anything with these initial Zerglings, uh, for a six pool that is, not what he's doing, for a six pool, you're not going to be able to do anything. So he skirts around Riley's site, you know, and then he comes here and then he targets these, which I probably should have just taken these, went right into the mineral line, began attacking them, but he apparently had the need to attack that. And right here, I really probably should have target fired the Marines. Screw the SCVs, if things are killing your lings, you can't really do much. So the, let's go just go pop in the units loss tab. They actually lost equal amount of resources. Not bad. However, Levi is continuing with this. He has four Zerglings here, which this is actually a really poor place to put them because anything here could spot those Zerglings, take pot shots at them, and then and then he probably should have scouted with his Overlord. At least somewhere back here. Maybe, you know, Riley could have been throwing down a, a command center. Now would it have finished? Probably not. But he could have. He could have flown it to this island, and then Levi would, would be fucked until late game because he had no economy. Now, granted, he wouldn't have any economy either, he being Cognas. But you get my point. So he is bringing in these Zerglings. He's trying to win the game here. He has th these three Marines. He um, This was, again, I cannot stress enough how um, risky this was if those initial Zerglings didn't do as much economic damage as they did, which they didn't do much. And if these Marines didn't get stuck here, this game may have ended out differently if he walled in, you know? And right now, he is just getting mad medic bullet boost. He got it 50 seconds ago. It's not even going to finish by the time the video is done. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, maybe if he got the gas earlier, he, he could have gotten that ma ma la 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 metabolic boost and maybe um, changed up how this game would have played out. So, Carnass leaves out GG. I just leave because I'm a spectator. I can't talk. Anyways, that's what you guys, uh, that's what I'll be bringing to you guys at times. Uh, games like this where I'll be, um, you know, analyzing stuff. Is it going to be as boring as this? No. This game was six minutes. But. You get what I'm going to try to be getting at, etc, etc. I want to thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.